Building one building is not a problem. You can invest a whole day in modeling and texturing and you have a building. But what if you need 50 buildings? For example for city block on an entire city. Wasting 50 days is not a good idea. When I decided to build a building's asset pack, something that would be a long term solution for buildings, I know I needed a plan first. I need something with which I can build different type of buildings in a few minutes. I need modular parts or kit bash. In this video, I will show you how I build and where to download the asset pack that contains 162 modular assets with which you can build any type of building in few minutes, as well as 50 ready to use buildings. Buildings are quite complex, but usually consist of ground floor, which consists of one entrance, windows or stores. The main part is usually repetitive, the facade and windows. On the roof we usually have details such as antennas, pipes, ventilation system or smaller buildings. Air conditioners, awnings, pipes, satellites, pillars, etc. serve to break up repetitive parts of the facade and create a lot of details. Also, I've need something inside the building because the glass is partly transparent. Now that I have prepared the categories, the more time consuming task is to fill them with quality assets. I build the facades or windows first because they cover the biggest part of any building. I made 72 of them, I probably overdo it, but more is better to keep repetition to a minimum. This is what the process looks like, I import the image as plain and start modeling according to the details from the image. This process is described multiple times on my channel and in step by step tutorials you can find on Patreon. I mostly got the textures from Google Maps. With Photoshop I removed the bad parts and made the image more flat, mostly reducing highlights and avoiding shadows. Since they are quite low resolution and blurry, it is good to increase the texture and sharpness. I use Photoshop AI to generate some textures. The AI works ok, but in my experience it is good to fill the rest of the image with similar textures so the AI knows what you want. In the UV editor, I avoid shadows and correct uneven parts, so the texture doesn't have to be perfect. For roughness I used concrete texture. I used the same concrete texture to add dirt to the color input and also to the bump multiply with the building texture to get more detail. Since it is a texture with different proportions, it is necessary to separate the UV maps. In addition to the main texture, almost each facade or windows has a glass part. Although it is not physically correct, I like to keep a little texture in the color of the glass, that way I get a lot more detail. For example, if curtains are photographed with glass, if we plug it in color input or mix it with diffuse, it will look as the curtains are behind. For roughness I use the same concrete texture and for bump mass grip texture. I repeated this 72 times, added an array modifier to each object, saved them in the asset browser and we have facades ready for use. I like to create custom thumbnails for the asset browser for better preview. The asset pack together with other asset packs as well as the step by step tutorials can be downloaded from Patreon, the YouTube join link or the Blender market link in the description. I created the ground assets in the same way, I just look for elements more suitable for ground floor, for example shops, entrances, low windows etc. Pieces that go well on repeat are especially useful to fill empty space.
references and textures are based on real buildings to make the assets more realistic. First I found the reference images, after that comes the more interesting but also time consuming part with modeling and texturing. For most of them I use one collage texture from which I created three materials, glossy, rough and without specular for recessed parts, holes etc. Later I just changed the projection in the UV editor and placed the materials depending on where it fit best. These are the models I created for the roof. Pillars are simple elements that are very useful in combination with the array modifier. Pipes, air conditioners, fire escapes and awnings create a lot of details and break up the repetitive part of the facades. Ownings of different colors actually have the same material, only with a different UV projection. The texture of the fabric plug into a bump is great for getting wrinkles and concrete is again there for dirt. When I modeled everything and start working on the buildings, something was still missing. All the buildings have glass, so you can see that they are empty inside. That's why I created this simple day-night shader. If placed on a cube inside a building, it looks good from a distance. To get the night version, it is enough to slide the shader to the left. In addition to the day and night shader, I also created some other materials that are often useful in buildings such as concrete, plaster and bricks. Now that we have everything ready, the process of building a building looks like putting together a puzzle and take only a few minutes. If you don't want to generate the best shape of each building individually, my recommendation is for Free Blossom add-on. You need to select a part of the map and import, for example the whole city block into Blender. The recommendation is to set everything as a parent object to one empty object and line up with Blender world axis so that it will be easier to use assets later. After that, you can remove the parent with Alt P and clear and keep transform. With P separate by loose parts, you can separate the buildings. This is what the buildings I created looks like. I also shared them together with the assets in the asset pack and of course added them to the asset browser. These buildings are true optimized, do not make sense to use them in the background. That's why I created additional 4 assets, low poly cities. 
Low poly cities are four city blocks created with the help of Blossom add-on, which serves to fill the background. In order to get the variation in the textures, I used eight different facade textures and one for the roof. Textures of the facades are adaptable day and night, but look from a distance they emitted too much light. To solve that problem, I mix the checker texture with the noise texture to control how much light I want on the buildings. In the end, I got full control over the light. I can set how much light I want, light intensity and day and night transition. That's all for this video. In the next video I will try create artwork with these assets, so click like and subscribe. You can download the asset pack from the links in the description. A brief overview of all tutorials and assets can be found on my website.